Hey Cancer, it's Teresa with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your love lesson. So we're going to get started with the Power of Love Oracle. What lesson is Cancer working on in regard to love? And we have Patience. You are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. So I feel like divine timing is at play here in your love life. And this could be a lesson that you're working on, or it could just be the energy that you're dealing with right now. All right, what else do we have in regard to cancer love? We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So this could be in a current relationship, or it's asking you to be honest with someone new. And we also have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So I feel like there's a need to have some time apart with each other, like away from everyone else to, and it may take some time before this can happen, but to have this heart to heart conversation. But let's see what else comes out here. So we have the Twin Flame Journey Oracle. Let's see what comes out for cancer. We have return. We have action. We have contemplation as the challenge. Mirroring. and received. So I feel like there's a discussion that needs to happen and it's in regard to a reconciliation or a another try at a relationship. At the bottom of the deck we have abandoned. So I feel like you're feeling abandoned whether you're in a relationship or not. This conversation needs to happen but just know that it's not all about the other person because you are mirroring each other. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify these cards. What's this return about? And we have the Two of Swords, stalemate, indecision. So I feel like, yeah, this discussion needs to happen because it's kind of like things are stuck the way they are, whether you're in separation or together, they're stuck the way they are. What's this action about? we have six of wands success and recognition so i feel like i feel like it's really talking about having this conversation giving each other the time to have this conversation and it's going to really make things better for both of you whether that means that you you do stay together or not or get back together it's it's about having this conversation where you're both feeling as though you're being heard. And so that takes that takes speaking your mind, standing up for what you believe in, but also being a good listener, right? So what's this contemplation as the challenge here? And we have temperance, restoration. So yeah, I feel like this is what you are both trying to decide is, are we going to heal this or are we going to cut our losses okay but it's both the same you're mirroring each other so anything that you feel that the other person is doing wrong you are as well if that makes sense or anything that you feel they're doing right that's something that you are doing right as well if that makes sense <laughs> so you're definitely mirroring each other so what is this mirroring about and we have the queen of swords sharp and assertive so if you've been in arguments, you both cut below the belt. If that's, that's what I'm getting here. What is this received about? And we have conflict. Yeah, we both, you've both been on the receiving end of conflict, confrontation, um, you know, trying to one up each other as far as who can hurt each other the worst. 
And I like how mirroring and heart to heart. This is heart. Your hearts need to mirror each other. Okay, at the bottom of the deck we have Six of Cups. So this is a soulmate. But I feel like you both have abandonment issues. Um, and this isn't to call anybody out, but these are things that you can work on yourself, right? This is this is something that you can work on yourself that's going to help you in love, in your relationships. And it's not about fixing the other person. It's something that you can work on and acknowledge within yourself. All right, that, that was kind of quick, actually. So let's see. Um, let's see what guidance comes out for you. Okay, we have this one here. And this is aquamarine communication. I communicate with ease and grace. And that is definitely coming out on that um, action that needs to take place. Those heart, that heart to heart conversation. What else do we have? This one here. Fire agate creativity. I allow the creativity of my soul to shine through into my world. this one orpiment success I am successful in all that I do and that comes out right here on that six of wands success and recognition so I feel like this is going to benefit both of you this heart to heart conversation okay we have this one here and this one is Shatukite teacher I have the divine wisdom of the universe within me and I openly share it with the world. And what I'm getting is that, yes, this is a soulmate, but there's definitely a lesson that's meant to be learned here. And this is about understanding your own part in the demise and the success of your relationship. Um, it's very easy to point fingers, but if we can look at ourselves and really say, are we fully open in our heart to embrace this relationship? Are we fully open to um, experiencing the other person? Are we fully open to love when it comes to this connection? So that's what I'm getting here. Okay, those are the messages that came through for you, Cancer. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back and so do I. Take care.